Floss Tube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Mel and this is Patchy Pony Stitcher. Today this is a Floss Tube Extra in regards to this finish that I did last year. This was supposed to look like an egg shape. It was affectionately called on my channel my Easter potato because the shape is just <laughs> not an egg. So today I've decided that I'm going to undo this and refinish it because I'm really not happy to have this out on my display. I still love the stitching, but the shape is not desirable. So I'm going to undo this and then I'm going to re-finish it. So I'm going to show you that even though something may not turn out the way you want, it's still fixable. So let's get started. So I'm going to undo my pin and I will time speed you up as I undo this. Okay, so what we've got left is my stitching that is in a decent egg shape there, which I've, obviously when I have trimmed it after I've sewn it, I've come, I don't have much margin left at all, but we'll see what we can do with it, if we can salvage it. This is just a piece of denim that I'd used and I'm not going to try and salvage that or the pom-pom, uh, so that will go in the bin and then we've got our fibre fill which I can repurpose for something else. So I've had a dig around in my stash to see what I could find. Now I've got two options. I've got this hoop that I've picked up from the thrift store for a dollar. And I've also got this um, hexagon frame that I've also picked up at some point in time. So I could sacrifice some stitching and just stitch the bunnies. I mean, not stitch the bunnies. I could just frame the bunnies. But my th thinking is that I might use the frame and then sew some ribbon onto the sides just to give a, so I've got enough there to be able to, to put this into the frame. And then I could have some ribbon going around the hoop and, or I could leave it plain or I could paint it. So I'm gonna have a dig through my ribbon stash and see if I've got anything that might suit something being sewn with the sewing machine onto both sides of this um, stitch and I will come back to you. Okay, so I've set, found two possibilities. So I've had this, I've got this ribbon with a brown um, type of edging on it, needs an iron, so I'm gonna need to have to do that. And then I've also got this other satin ribbon, which might be good for the, um, the, the wrap. So again, it will need an iron. So I'll come back to you and show you how that looks. This part here is the problem bit because I've got um, yeah, the, the fabric is fraying a little bit. So I'm gonna have to be very careful that the ribbon covers that to support the threads in the even weave, but also make the, ri the ribbon even on both sides, but then still have enough ribbon to be captured 
into the hoop. So this is, might be a little bit tricky. But I think we'll just squeeze it in. So I think I'm going to pin, pin that like that. Okay, so it's all pressed and I've stitched on the ribbon on the outside because I did want to have, um, so I didn't have an internal seam. I just wanted to have that um, detail showing on the ribbon. So, time of truth. Is it how we're going to go fitting this in here? Now, this is not a tutorial. This is just me trying to fix a FO that I wasn't happy with. So, let's have a look. Actually, what I might do, so I've just got a bit of calico to line the back with just to protect the back as well. And also give it a bit more for the hoop to bite into when I put it on there. So I've trimmed this very tight to the ring, to the hoop, only because I didn't have enough to lace it and I want to put, you know, make it at least a little bit more presentable on the back. So I've tightened that up as much as I possibly can and just trimmed that away. Now it's probably not what you're meant to do with hoop finishes, but uh, with a very little fabric that I had. So this is in here to stay now. And now time to give it a bit more of a glitz up. So here we are with the finished product. I did decide to leave the hoop raw because I worked out pretty quickly you need a thinner ribbon to go around the outside. A thicker ribbon doesn't work too well. And so I've just popped a little bow on top and a button bead to cover that little bit of... Uh, fabric that you could see where it hadn't quite covered well in uh, my sizing due to me making it into a potato and I've just added a little bunny bunny charm with a bulb bulb pin and I've left the back as is it is going to just sit on my Easter display and it's going to go away when it's not in Easter time so I'm going to leave that as it is and I must say I am much happier to put this out on my Easter display rather than <laughs> what the potato was. So win-win all round. Now I can enjoy this piece. And here it is in situ with my rest of my Easter decor. Happy Easter everyone.